Hey, you guys. I'd like to make a quick point. And I want to piggyback off of that to remind myself, of course, because you just ear hustling. We both know that. Uh, yeah, Mama said work smarter, not harder. And I understand for those that didn't have my mama. Sorry, let me get you out of the sun. That is unfathomable. Sad. Sad but true because most of us Americans uh, learn you have to work harder to get what you want. And you really don't. So this is for, this is for the spiritualist community. <laughs> we know thoughts are things. Words are things. I talk and walk myself into easy situations all the time. Everything comes to me easily and effortlessly in a thousand different ways. Yet, my human self took, honestly, between me and you, don't tell nobody else, okay? Three years. Just now, after... Uh, I got. Let me check myself before I wreck myself. Mm. Yeah, honestly, three years of reminding myself I don't have to. I'm retired. I don't have to. I'm retired. I don't even have to go to the doctor if I don't want to. I don't have to do this. I don't have to do. Oh. The only thing I have to do is what brings me my highest and greatest joy right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now is all that matters. Yeah, we make plans for the dentist, doctor, blah, 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 whatever tomorrow. If I don't feel like getting up, sitting sitting out in the cold, it's supposed to rain tomorrow, and, and wait for the, the senior citizen bus, I'm canceling my appointment. I feel fine. I check in with mom. She says I can cancel my appointment and then make go another day. Oh, we spend our whole lives. I have to. I have to do what mom says. I have to do it. No, because you know what's going to happen for all of you out there who are not sixty-three yet and and can't look behind you, whatever age you are, and say, "Oh, I did that before. Let me not do that again." No, you can look behind you and not do that thing again. Because let's face it, unless, unless you live at home with mom and dad and they pay all your bills and shit, then you you can't listen to this message. Sorry, I should have made that disclaimer at the beginning. But I'm old and tend to forget things like that. So for those the rest of us, you, you could do what you want because mom and dad's going to die. No offense. The dog's going to die. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to die. Yet none of us get out alive. So have a happy life. This isn't, oh, I don't, I shouldn't say that. Uh, some countries where you have to, well, there's two, and two, three, four, or five that I could think of off the top of my head. You have to be a doctor. You have to be a lawyer. You have to be a person of uh, clout or, I don't know. I can't think of a good word right now. And the only thing I, you, ha you really have to be is happy because none of us get out alive. But I'm bum <laughs> for the human, <clears throat> for the human in me, <laughs> and yet the spirit of, in me knows we go on to be happy and do what your absolute heart desires right now, and right now, and right now, and right now, and my absolute joy right now is being silly. So I, I just. I just wish more people would learn to just make yourself happy. Work smarter, not harder. You know, if you don't want to babysit my, you know, 20 foot uh, reticulated python, you just say no. You don't have to say yes just because you want a reading or just because you want money, just because you want crystals from me, just because you want me to make you a piece of jewelry. That's not an ob you Send me postage. I'll make you a piece of jewelry for free. You do not need to lie and shuck and jive and, and get your hustle on by lying, cheating, stealing just to get what you want. You could just just say no or just say whatever it is you truly, authentically wish to do to get what you want. 
It really is that simple, people. It really is what you know, what he said. It really is. And I know we put up these blockages and say, oh, if it's not hard, I can't achieve that. That's not true. I moved from Vegas to Scotts Bluff, Nebraska. And I only had $1,000. How much was my move? Almost $7,000. I didn't do that. You guys helped me move because I knew I could and I didn't say, okay, God, how? And should I turn left here? Should I turn right there? No. All I said was, what's my new address? And I wrote a letter to myself with my new address. Words are things. Thoughts are things. Watch what you say. Watch, watch what you say ar that are coming out of the mouths of the people that are around you. Excuse me. Watch what you say. Watch what you say. I have a new house, three bedroom house that I only pay $875 for, which in, when I was in Las Vegas, I thought was so little. And I get here, this house should only be $600. So that's where I'm moving to. I'm moving to the good uh, landlord that takes care of the property well, no holes in the house for my winter bills to be, you know, $500. I know and accept that my divinely right house is coming to me right now. And I don't necessarily believe in the person who says, don't tell people your, your dreams. No, they, they could help you get your dreams and manifest them. I, I, I don't believe in that. I believe that all, I don't know, 257 whatever people that gave me money that helped me get here so I could eat and buy medicine and have a better life here because the cost of living is lower. I believe that they all pitched in their good energy and said, Tasha's got that house and I got the house. Just like all the people now are saying, Tasha's got a better house and I have a better house. I have it. I have it. I have it. I have anything and everything that brings me joy right now. I have my absolute highest divine gift, treasures, belongings. I have it. I have it. It is coming to me. I'm not, I'm not walking 10 miles and I'm not stepping over dollars to pick up dimes. I have it. Now the only thing I need to do is be patient. I'm 63 now. I am a little bit. Don't tell nobody though, okay? It's just our secret brother, okay? Okay. <laughs> I love you. Have an awesome day. Awesome day. Oh, wow. And you know, brother, you remind me so much of my mother. Sometimes it just makes me cry just you know that little down down the back of your neck when mama said you know i always say that right after you say whatever you said you know mama said and i know every time you say something mama said that's mom reminding me through your gentleness the lessons she taught me and my human self forgot Thank you. I love you. Go have an awesome day. And isn't it great being retired? I'm so happy for you. More time to do more of the things you love to do.